Today it's not been a great day, I skipped breakfast on purpose so I could get more rest and then I went to lunch and they said no today you don't have lunch here you have to go to the other hotel which is like 10 to 15 minutes by walk so I couldn't catch lunch like at all I didn't eat anything yet uh, I'm supposed to leave in five minutes I ordered room service and I asked them if they could <laughs> like come in 30 minutes I said yes they would try and I've been waiting for like 40 minutes already so I don't know what to do I'm freaking out I didn't eat anything I didn't have any any coffee it's terrible <sighs> so it's not a good day <sighs> room service has just arrived i'm gonna drink this coffee very very fast oh my god i'm so anxious i'm so anxious i'm gonna miss everything i'm gonna miss the bus i'm gonna miss the game i'm gonna lose everything at least i have coffee now i feel better <sighs> I just uh, arrived to the hotel from the playing hall of um, today's game. I played white against Mamazada <laughs> and I feel really disappointed. I drew but I feel extremely disappointed because I had so... probably I had such a big advantage. If not in the position I had a huge time advantage which should have been enough but I couldn't find the right move and I spent all of my time then I took the draw because I was scared if I play on that it would get even worse because I don't know I have no idea what I should have played I didn't analyze the game yet I will do it now with you so you see what happened during the game <sighs> but that was such a big opportunity such a big chance and I blew it and that's why I don't feel so happy I'm happy with the draw but I'm not happy to draw in that way mm. okay let's check the game let's check the game okay we are here now my opponent was <laughs> late to the game so that brought even additional stress I had some additional stress before the game as well Okay, so what happened was d4, d5, c4, c6. I have prepared all of this because I didn't want her to prepare on me. So I I played something I didn't play before. Well, I did play it like five years, six years ago even, maybe seven. But this is a cool line. So I go e3, she went bishop e4. I prepared this, queen d3, knight a5, queen a4, bishop d7. And I prepared queen d1. It's a very interesting idea. And she goes e6, bishop d3, rook c8, knight f3, knight c4, queen e2, bishop b4, rook c1. I'll, I prepared all of this. I knew all 
all of this and here a castle and here she took and here a big surprise for her was i took on e4 but i've prepared all of this so yeah here the best move is take goes goes here knight g5 and here i was prepared for two moves knight d2 and knight Sorry, not knight d1, but knight b2. Okay, I'm not gonna draw arrows. Here, she played bishop a5. This is something I wasn't prepared for because I thought that's not a good move, but actually it's a pretty interesting move. And here I spent like 30 or even more minutes trying to find what's the best way for me to play. I was considering, was considering literally every move from knight f7, knight e4 to b3, queen h5, and of course rook c4. Four. Yeah, so I consider all of these moves. Oh, I also considered B4. So these are all the first moves that I considered, but of course I had to calculate each and every one of them. But what looked the best for me, now we're not checking with the computer, I'm gonna check with the computer after. First we're gonna just uh, see what happens. So first this is a nice trick, because after G6, Queen H6, uh, Queen G7 is an extremely, extremely big threat. But here I think she just has Queen. I'm a piece down, so I cannot go for this. Like, nothing else worked either, so I just spent this time for nothing. So, of course, rook c4 is the best move. Well, I don't know, we're gonna check with the computer, but it seems like it's the best move. And here I thought she would play bishop b5, but she didn't, so I'm not sure why not. She didn't want to exchange the queens, I guess, or I don't know what was her idea. I guess she didn't want to have this position or something. She took on c4 immediately, I take back. Of course, and she got bishop c6. Of course, this is very logical. I don't know why I didn't consider that. I just thought that I'm so much better here for some reason. Of course, the first move that comes to my mind is b4. And she's forced to go bishop b6. She cannot go to c7 because I just take, take, and go b5 and I win a piece. Not a piece, but I, I'm basically winning now. So bishop b6 would be forced, and now I thought b5. Here, this, this is not what I played, but that's what I was calculating. And queen c2, and then f5. Then I would probably go knight h3. Or maybe h6 the best, I don't know, let's say castle. And for example, if I go bishop e5, she goes here, attacking this one. And if I go here, she goes rook c8. And she's better. So what I have to do is take advantage of the c file. So here I would have to go a4 or rook c1. I mean, but then she goes a6. And after this, for example, g5 again. And I just wasn't sure, you know, if I actually can even play this position at all. Now that I'm looking at it, maybe I have bishop c7. But again, this knight on h3 is terrible. I think this would be the best for me to play. But like in this position, I was really frustrated just because I thought, of course, I have something better than rook c4. I think that what I played was not good. I went queen c5. Well, the idea is obviously to stop my opponent from castling. So she went h6, knight h3 fourth, I think. Bishop b6, I go queen a3, of course, still stopping the castle. Here she went, I think she went f6 immediately. f6, I go bishop d6, she goes g5, of course, that's very logical. g5 is an amazing move, stopping my knight from coming to f4 or any other square. So first I go rook c1, yeah, she goes a6, I go king h1. The idea would be to finally put the knight in the game through g1 to e2. And she goes h5, I go knight g1, she goes h4. The idea is that if I now go knight e2, if I now go knight e2, she would go h3. If I go g3, then she would have some ideas of queen d7, queen f7, queen h5, queen f3. So I didn't want to go knight e2 for that reason. I also didn't, didn't want to play h3 because whenever I start pushing pawns here, she has bigger chance to destroy me. So I just didn't push, I went queen b4. Actually, I felt terrible. In this position, I felt absolutely terrible because <laughs> I didn't know what was my play and what was my idea, nothing. So I went for the only thing I could, draw. The only thing I was scared of here was a5. a5 would either push me back to a3 or b3, which I was considering going on b3. But then again, king s7 and something like bishop a3 but then i bring the bishop here on c7 then she has a very nice idea of bishop b8 queen c7 trying to checkmate me i have to push pawns here and then i'm just i don't feel so good so that's why i was scared of a5 but she went king f7 and here i go bishop e7 basically asking her if she wants to trade the dark squared bishops which I would be happy with because this, this bishop is terrible. This bishop will never be in the game. So I would just go b4, a4, b5, even maybe sacrificing the a4 pawn just in order to bring my rook to c7. So yes, yeah, so that's why she went bishop a5. I go queen a3. She goes this. I repeat once. 
And here, I think I made a mistake of accepting the draw because I knew I had before. And if she took with a queen, I just take here with the queen. And now it's even better for me because I already had pushed before, which was the initial idea anyway, right? It's even better for me. I guess she would have went something like king g6, then after a4, something like queen d7 or something. So if this, 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 she would take. Again, rook c7, this. Ah, no, she cannot even go here. Yeah, we're gonna just go rook here so she would have to go back i mean i just i'm just better here but here that's why she wouldn't take after before she wouldn't take the, the the bishop she would go bishop b6 and i would now go bishop c5 i'm pretty sure i'm so much better here but i was just not feeling comfortable in this position before i was even thinking that if i play like 2100 opponent i would of course play this a hundred percent I wouldn't think twice, but now let's check it with the computer. 94, yeah, 94 is hard to see. So rook c4, yeah, okay, and it's just equal. Okay, let's check 94, let's just check 94 here. Yeah, b5, b3, wait, can just something like f5 happen though? Bishop g5, okay, queen d6, oh, just queen h5, and after g6, just queen h6, insane. Yeah, so this is very tricky. But I just wasn't sure. I, if I knew that, I would totally play 94. Yeah, and here, of course, before is the best thing. Everything else is worse. Yeah, I thought so, but like I said, I knew I messed up here. So bishop b6, the only move, b5, this, and queen c2, f5. And here I go knight h3, castles. Oh, I go bishop e 5 So I was not sure. Bishop e 5 queen d7, then? Oh, and I just give up the pawn. I just give up the pawn. So I would never give up a pawn, but like computer says to do it just because knight f4, knight h5 is coming, but that's this risky thing to do. So I really, in a classical game, you would play that, I think. Yeah, that was better. But okay, I went queen c5. Yeah, I knew that was terrible. Okay, so I was, yeah, I'm happy with taking the draw. Interesting. I was really scared that I should have played on here. So wait, let's repeat. And here before, but actually it's, yeah, interesting. It's not even so good. I thought that I'm so much better here. Let's check it. I'm st I thought I was so much better here, actually. Hmm. Huh. Rook d8. Okay, let's say rook c8. Let's just say rook c8 for the purpose of life. Let's go a4. Queen d8 is like crushing. Why? Because I can't play. And I'm just worse. Okay, Oof. so I'm actually happy with taking the draw. Interesting. Chess is hard. So wow. So bishop a5 was not even bad. But knight e4, it's hard move to play. Okay, no, but wait, wait. Now computer saying b5. Yes. B3. Okay. Bishop c6. Yes. And f3 takes takes knight b6. I'm so, oh, and queen b5. Oh my god. No, but this is too complicated. No, GG. GG, okay. No, okay, now I'm not so disappointed anymore. All good. I decided to go to the gym before I go to dinner because I should get all the stress out of me. I still have the room service that I ordered before the game and didn't have time to eat. <sighs> stress, stress. Sexy walk, a proactive talk So good, so you make it I She's the devil in disguise Good morning It's the second game of round two against Mama Dad at night day I just woke up, <laughs> it's 11 o'clock Yeah, I woke up a bit late I thought I would go to breakfast today but I missed it again so i should get some coffee lunch is in another hotel today again so i will have to go earlier to catch the lunch i will prepare now get some coffee then prepare then go to lunch come back check some lines like last minute get ready and go that's the plan
Well, that's the end of the road for me on the tournament. It's been an amazing, an amazing experience, I have to say. I would totally do it again. I'm so happy I even got into the second round. A bit unlucky today, maybe just not in form, not in my biggest shape I ever been because I think that was totally playable position from the opening but I think I shouldn't have allowed her to play h5 so after she played bishop c1 I should go h5 myself I think that was the problem but she really found a nice tactic with knight g6 I have to say that was really pretty very unfortunate but yeah she proved to be a better player so Congratulations to her. Too bad for me. It was nice. I don't know when I'm gonna leave, but we'll keep you posted. I'm having maybe the last walk in Sochi. I wish I stayed more. <laughs> anyway, next time, next time, you know, you live, you learn. goes e4 and I prepared for the Karakan. And here again she spent a lot of time, I think almost 30 minutes, because I think she was trying to recall the main line. At the end she decided to, to just go king b1. And here I, and I was just like, oh, yeah, it's very logical, yeah. And she goes h5. And here I realized that um, I should have played h5. Actually, here I spent like 30 minutes calculating because I felt very uncomfortable suddenly. I didn't like knight f6, I couldn't go c5, I couldn't go e5. I decided to go rook e8. The idea now is to go c5. Um, and she goes knight h4. And here, okay, actually what happened here, I'm gonna tell you what happened. So here, she puts, she touches the knight, she puts it on h4 and then she goes like this. And slowly puts the knight back on f3 and starts thinking again for like five minutes. So my original plan was after knight h4 that I take, take, take and go knight f6 and after rook e1. I thought, okay, I'm a bit worse. But then when she did this, she did this and she thinks and then she goes knight h4 again. And I was starting to think, okay. She must have blundered it, I can take the pawn. So maybe this is not such a bad move as I anticipated it. Yeah. So then I started deciding, do I take the knight or do I take the pawn? There are no other options. So I'm just like, okay, I think I should take the pawn. And I take the pawn, which was a big mistake. <laughs> I completely blundered the move g5. Here I was thinking g5, what is this? That looks like a weird move. Because And I completely blundered knight g6 like completely blunder of course after if she takes on g6 i get checkmated on the board pretty nicely here i have only one move knight h7 to stop the checkmate on h8 and she goes knight e5 f6 i don't have any other moves and here of course she saw a nice tactics knight c6 cannot take because here is a beautiful line. This, of course, I cannot go because I just lose a knight. And after this, takes, takes, and queen f7. I thought um, when I was calculating this, this is a beautiful, beautiful line because I cannot stop the checkmate with rook h1, um, which is a beautiful way to lose the game, actually. But I was not ready to lose yet, so I went queen f5. A few moments later, I just resigned the game. But Yeah.